This video will show you how to upgrade the RAM, the SSD, locate the CMOS battery, the hard drive. Let's begin. Remove all these screws. Now put your finger now at the edge of the cover. Once you've got your finger now in there and then it's easy to remove the cover. You can use a tool as well, like a prey or spudger. Finally, I can start removing the back cover. So this is how your motherboard looks like. You've got your RAM here, battery. You can put a hard drive here. This is your SSD M2. So we're gonna concentrate on the battery. Two screws, remove them. And then the battery connector, disconnect that. So I've already removed the two screws. Lift up just like this. Now remove the battery connector. You pull it out, use your finger now. The M2 SSD, one screw. just pulls out this is your CMOS battery you just pull it out from there from here very easy so if you want to reset your CMOS battery or replace so I will put the M2 SSD back in it's very easy vice versa once you've got a, a new SSD you just insert it you put the screw back in and then you can reinstall Windows so your RAM here takes one slot it's embedded, there's either, I think, 4GB or 8GB embedded. But I'm gonna upgrade this RAM. So it's one physical RAM slot you can remove and replace. So I'm gonna upgrade it now. You align it like this, and you put it down. So RAM upgrade done, M2 SSD done, battery removed. Now for the hard drive, you can insert a hard drive in here. This is the caddy for it, so it looks like this. You can buy this from Acer Parts, eBay or Amazon. Generally, just online search. So it looks like this, the caddy, once the hard drive's in there. And then you put it like this. Takes four screws, by the way, to mount. So once that's been mounted, I'm going to put this connector in. This is the SATA connector for the hard drive. You just insert it like this. Like I said, four screws to hold it in place. Thank you for watching the video tutorial for the Acer Aspire 5 A515-56G. Once the cover's back in, you put all the screws, job done. Thank you for watching.